Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use the programming language QBasic. QBasic is a very simple programming language that if you're a beginning programmer it is very useful. Um, so I have provided a link uh, for the download in the description of the video so hopefully you can find that. Once you have downloaded that and unzipped it to your hard drive and, you can, and then found it then open it up and open up QBasic.exe and then once that's loaded you should get a blue screen with a gray box on it hit escape and the screen and the box will go away now <coughs> you'll have an untitled QBasic program so let's just do a basic hello world type in print uh, quotation marks hello world and quotation marks and then hit F5 to run it and you'll get hello world now press any key and you'll go back to your the blue screen. Uh, hit, now hit F5 again and you'll see two hello worlds. That's because QBasic does not um, QBasic doesn't clear the screen of your last program unless you tell it to. To do that you have to type in CLS it stands for clear screen. Type that in above the print and then run it. Now you only have one hello world. Awfully simple. Now <coughs> let's do uh, you can't do much with uh, just printing stuff to the screen, now can you? So now let's do input. Type in input space um, let's see uh, let's just do see your name. So this here is the variable, you can type in anything type in, I'm typing in nm dollar sign, the dollar sign you have to have because the dollar sign uh, says that it's a string I've never seen that anywhere else except in QBasic but that's just how it works. Okay Alrighty then. That okay. And then above the input line and below the hello world line type print enter your name. Alright. And then you'll get and QBasic capitalizes all of the uh, all of your commands. It just does that for whatever reason. I don't know why. And then after the input line type in print your name is colon space in quotation marks semicolon nm dollar sign or whatever your variable was semicolon and then go to the next line and then run it you should have hello world enter your name I'm going to type in Bob your name is Bob now hopefully you got that if you didn't then your code should look just like mine <coughs> anyway okay so let's see here now let's do a if then statement let's say type in if nm dollar sign whatever your variable was equals uh eric say just because and then in quotation marks oops excuse me you have to type in a then after that if nm dollar sign equals eric then go to the next line type in print uh quotation marks your name is Eric, in quotation marks. Now, then you all, with all if then statements, you've got an else. If then else. <coughs> else means if the variable, or if whatever you specified, if whatever it is, the else means that if that variable does not equal what you specified, then it runs the else, if that makes any sense. Just type in else, then print your name is not Eric and quotation marks and then after all uh, if then statements you have to type in and if and that will that just so it shows that the end that the if statement is ending if you don't do that it'll throw you an error all right now let's test it out <coughs> let's put in Eric your name is Eric. Your n okay then. I screwed that one up. Anyway, uh, the way I wrote it, it kind of put it on the same line. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah. Type in print. Just a blank. That will hopefully add a line in. There we go. Okay. Your name is Eric. Your name is Eric. Now let's do it again, except with put in Bob. Your name is Bob. Your name is not Eric. Good grief. It's been 
while since I programmed in QBasic. Anyway, okay. Now, and so your if then statement, if you want to do what I did, type in if nm equals Eric, then print just a blank quotation mark, then next line print your name is Eric, else print blank quotation, print your name is not Eric, and if. Alright, so, and then now, you've also got, um, oh, well, here's something. It's called pause. Just type in pause. That means that, hmm, should we capitalize that? Excuse me, the command is not pause. I got batch mixed up, mixed up with QBasic. Okay, now if you want to have something where it just bef in, in before if you don't push a key, then it just sits there. Then you can type in sleep. So now <sighs> type in Eric, just as the name. Your name is Eric. Your name is Eric, and it's not gonna do anything. Push a key, and it'll say press any key to continue, as it generally does, and you bring you back to the <sighs> blue screen. You can also specify how long you want it to sleep. Like if I wanted to sleep for two seconds, put in a two after the sleep. And then after two seconds, it comes up with whatever you have next. So let's just do print this. Can't spell today. Is after sleep. Okay. So let's try that. This is after sleep. See? It's pretty simple, actually. Alright. Now let's just... Let's go ahead and delete that. Hope you feel like deleting it. Okay. Now there's one more thing I want to cover. It's select case. Alright, so type in select case in M dollar sign or whatever your... Uh, whatever your dollar sign or variable was. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so... Now there's two ways you can do select case. If you have like a running set of options, like uh, just choose this, 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 or this, and you type in a number and hit enter, you can do that select case by typing select case your variable, and then typing input. You can then type in the same variable nm whatever, and then you can type in print. Oops, hold on. You put the print above the input line. Print. Uh, select another name. Then you go down here and type in case. Just say Tom. Then print your name is Tom. And you can do another case. Bob. Print your name is Bob. And there's also a thing called case else. It means whatever, well, it's just like the if and end if else. That's all case is, really. It's just save you the time of typing if, yada, 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 then, whatever. This is just, <coughs> you've got case, and it's just essentially if and if. Just, it's it's usually used for more options. Type in case else, print, your name is not Bob or Tom. And then after all, all the, uh, just like after if, you have to, and after the if block, you have to have an end if. Just like in select case, you have to have an end select. So now let's run that. Okay then, never mind. You can't put a print in between select case and input, which means put it above it. Print, enter a new name. Okay, just do that, sorry. Uh, that means put the inputs on the outside of, of the case too. Put all right. There we go. Try that again. Okay. Hello world. Enter your name. Just input Tom. Enter a new name. We just did that. I'm going to type in George. Your name is not Bob or Tom. Now, if we run it again, uh, you can type in say Tom. Your name is Tom. Pretty simple. <coughs> I was. Anyway. Um, thank you for watching the tutorial. And if you have any questions, please email me. My email will be in the description. Or message me on YouTube. 
and that's all I've got. All right.